Generating YouTube thumbnail images can be time consuming and tedious, but today I'm gonna to show you how to automatically generate YouTube thumbnail images at scale. This could be for five images or 500 images, no matter how many you can do it all at once using this no code automation tool. I'm really excited to show you how this all works. I hope this is useful for refreshing your YouTube channel, creating new thumbnail images as you create new content, or even if you're an agency, you could create thumbnail images for your clients at scale. We'll show you how it's all done from beginning to end. It'll only take a few minutes. If you like this type of video, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment with any questions that you have. Thank you so much. Let's dive in. Okay, so the first step in this process is to create our YouTube thumbnail, and we're gonna use Canva to do that. Canva is a design tool that's very user-friendly. Anybody can use it to create beautiful thumbnail templates for YouTube. In fact, if you just search YouTube thumbnails, they have a ton of templates that you can choose from that are pre-built that look great and they convert well. I'm gonna go back here because I've already created one for the sake of this tutorial. And as you can see here, I've just uploaded an image of myself. I put how to here as a placeholder because most of our videos are how to. So that really applies for all of our videos. I put this black box here where the title of our video will appear and then finished up with our logo here down at the bottom and some graphics over here. Now, I'm just gonna use this single template, but if you wanted to build multiple templates that were based on the same format, you can very easily go into styles, you can change the color schemes, you can change the background color, et cetera, et cetera. So you could build a few different templates and then rotate through those in your automation, but I'm just gonna use this single template today to show you how you can programmatically generate a ton of different YouTube thumbnails basically in a matter of seconds. So once you're happy with the template that you built, you're gonna to wanna to download it from Canva. The one thing I would say that's most important is just make sure you have a clear spot on your template that's blank where the text is gonna appear. You don't have to have a shape or something, but you wanna have a clear spot where you know that your title text is gonna appear on the video because we're gonna put that in automatically with our automation. So once you have this, set up in a way that you like. You simply just need to download this to your machine from Canva. When you download, you wanna make sure that your size is 1280 by 720 because that is the standard size for YouTube thumbnails. Go ahead and download. This will just take a second. And while this is happening, I'm gonna hop over here to Banner Bear, which is the tool that we're gonna to use to automatically generate the images. Banner Bear is a image marketing tool. There's a ton of things that you can do with it from image to video, and they have a ton of no code automations and API integrations as well, but it makes it really easy to do this programmatically and at scale. If we head over to our projects, we have two projects here. One is YouTube generator, one is YouTube generator two. Let's just click into YouTube generator. And as you can see, we don't have any templates here. They do have a nice template library. So if you're looking for some inspiration for different types of images from Spotify to real estate to social, they certainly have them here, but we're just gonna start with a blank template. I'm gonna go ahead and create a project and this is our first project. So we've created the project and now we want to edit the template for the size. So we can make this 1280 by 720, click save. Okay, now we can edit. And in this template, we have some different layers here. So let's just go ahead and delete these layers out. As you can see, the elements are deleting from this template. Okay, so now we just essentially have a blank template. We can add a new layer and we'll add this image layer. So we get this banner bear image here. If we go over to the right hand side here, we can hit upload image and we can actually pick our template image that we just downloaded from Canva. So let's go ahead and do that. And this should load up here, perfect. And this should fit perfectly in our banner bear template. Okay, great. So now we have our template here, but what we need is some text here that we can automatically fill in based upon our video title on YouTube. So what we need to do is we need to add a new layer here and we just need to choose text. Now that we have this text layer, we can see the text color is black. So we'll want to change this to white. Okay, great. And then we will want to move it into this field. And then maybe we want to adjust the angle a little bit so that it's on the same angle as our text box here. We'll resize this text box here. And then there's one other setting here that's important. We wanna make sure that it's set correctly. Over here on the right hand side, there's a setting called text fit 
on, we want to make sure that that's on. So if our YouTube title is extremely lengthy, it'll actually shrink the text automatically to fit within the space that we define here, which we will make uh, just like this. Okay, great. So now we have this very basic template set up within Banner Bear. We can go ahead and save the template and we can exit our editor. And as you can see here, we have my first project. We can actually rename this if we want, just to make it a little easier to find. We'll call this YouTube video. Okay, we'll go ahead and save it. And we're actually gonna need here this API key eventually. So I'll keep this page up as we move on to the next step. So far, we've created our template on Canva for our YouTube thumbnail. And then we've copied this template into a tool called Banner Bear, and we've added text where our YouTube title will appear, which will be right here. For the next step, we're gonna head over to another tool called Airtable. Airtable is free as well. I have a ton of different bases in Airtable here, so don't let that overwhelm you. I'm just gonna go ahead and create a completely new base here. I will rename this and call this YouTube video tutorial. Okay. And we just need a couple things here. The first column, we're going to rename this. We'll, we'll call this video name. And then these other columns we actually don't need. We just need one more and we will edit this field. And we're actually going to make this an attachment field. And we'll say that this is the YouTube cover image. Okay. Okay. All right. There we go. So now we have the video name and the YouTube cover image. These are the only fields that we need in Airtable. So we've got this set up. And what's going to happen here in our workflow is we're going to be able to take the video name. So this is just whatever the title of our video is. And then magically, the YouTube cover image is automatically going to be generated based upon that video name. So if you had hundreds of video titles from your YouTube channel, you could just simply copy and paste those in here and it would generate all the images for you automatically based on the text in the video name. So how do we make that happen? Next, we need to head over to a tool called Zapier, which is an automation tool that connects apps together. There's over 5,000 different apps in Zapier. So you can do a lot, including Airtable and Banner Bear. Let's go ahead and create a new zap here. And they have this AI prompt here, but we're going to skip that. We're just going to go right into the trigger. And our trigger is going to be Airtable. So what, what we want to have happen here is when there's a new row in our Airtable field, we want to trigger this automation. So here's what we need to do. We need to choose our Airtable. And what's our event that triggers this automation? It's when a new record appears in our table. So we'll go ahead and click continue. We have to connect our account and we find our base and our base name is YouTube video tutorial. So YT video tutorial, there it is. And we just need to grant access. So it's that easy. Our base is now connected and we're gonna continue through setting up this app. So we hit continue. Now we just have to choose again here, our base. So our base is YouTube video tutorial. That matches up there, perfect. Our table is just table one. If we come here, it's just table one. If we were to rename this, we could choose the correct name, but it's just table one. So we found that table, limit to view, we're not gonna do and include file contents we're gonna keep as false. So let's go ahead and click continue. Now it's trying to test our trigger. We don't have any rows in our air table. So this is where we'll probably want to add a row to test our trigger. So let's head back here and let's call this video, how to create thumbnails automatically with banner bear. Okay. So now we have our video name. If you can imagine, if you had all your videos, like in an Excel spreadsheet, you could just copy and paste these all here and you could do hundreds at once, but we're just going to do one for the sake of example. Let's go back here. Let's test our trigger. And this is going to find any records in our air table. Now we need to find new records because we just added one. Here it is. And check this out. We have the data from this record. We have the, the title, how to create thumbnails automatically with Banner Bear. We have the record ID and we have the time that it was created. We had additional fields that would pick those up as well, but we just have a very basic table here. So let's go ahead and continue with the selected record. So now that we've completed the first step, we need to add our action step, which is going to be 
Banner Bear, and we want to choose the latest version of Banner Bear. So when Banner Bear, so when a new record is created, we want Banner Bear to automatically generate this image. So let's show you how to do that. First thing we need to do is choose from the list of things that you can do. So you can approve a video, create a GIF, create a collection, create a movie. There's a lot that you can do. We want to create an image whenever the new record is found. So we'll go ahead and click continue. We need to sign into our Banner Bear. If you're signed in, it's going to recognize that you're signed in. And all that you're going to need is this API key that we talked about earlier. So let's go here and grab our project API key. You can just simply copy it. Then what we need to do is paste it right in here to the project API key. You can see my API key. I'm going to delete this project after the video, but just know that's where you copy and paste your API key. Okay. So let's go ahead and click continue now that we've done that. And this is where we need to choose our template ID. And if you remember, our template ID is just welcome template. Okay, so we chose our welcome template. There's just basic advanced fields. We're just going to keep this as basic. And if we come over here and we look at our template and we edit our template, we can see here as this loads up our different layers here on the left hand side. This is taking a second to load, but once this loads up, we can see we have our layers are basically image two and the text container underscore three. Coming back here, we have this modification as text container underscore three. Great, so that's what we wanna actually put as our video title. So if we come in here, we can actually grab the video name from the first step where we found a new record in Airtable. And then we don't need any metadata. We don't need any, uh, to choose if this is transparent or not. We don't need a PDF. So let's just go ahead and click continue and let's click test the step. You can always skip the test, but it's definitely good to test it to make sure that everything is working. This is just going to take a second to make a API call essentially to Banner Bear and Banner Bear is going to hopefully create the image for us. Okay, so we get this sort of ugly response back, but it looked like it was successful. It says the status is completed. It gives us the created date. It gives us the image URL and all kinds of other information that we don't need. So we could publish this app here and be done, but we need to get our image back from Banner Bear. So how do we do that? We need to add another step here and we'll call this step Airtable again. And what we want to do here is we want to update an existing record in our table because if, if you remember, we generated the thumbnail based upon this video name, but we need to update this record now with the actual image. So here's what we do. We just need to choose update record, continue. Which base do we want to update? The YouTube video tutorial, perfect. Which table one, perfect. And then which record do we want to actually update? We want to grab the record ID from the first step. And what do we want to update? We don't want to update the video name, but we want to update the YouTube cover image with the image that we got back from Banner Bear. So this will be the URL PNG image. So let's go ahead and click that. We can go ahead and click continue. And then let's go ahead and test this step. If we hop over here, we're going to see this image magically come in as our YouTube cover image. And if we open it up, we can actually see the name of our video title right here and is created automatically for us programmatically. If we were to turn on this app and hit publish and then drag in a hundred different video titles here, they would all be generated automatically using Banner Bear. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of how you could automate your YouTube thumbnail image creation. You could get creative and have different workflows with different templates and so on and so forth. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to comment with any questions, like, subscribe, and turn on any notifications so you don't miss videos from us in the future. Thanks so much.